Hello, welcome to Storytime with Burley. Today we are reading Henry and Mudge and the Wild Goose Chase by Cynthia Ryland. Farm Fresh. One day, Henry's mother told Henry and Henry's father that she wanted some farm fresh eggs. Henry imagined a plate full of farm fresh eggs. Yum, he said. Mudge wagged. He always wagged at yum. Then Henry's mother said she wanted some fresh picked blueberries. Yum, yum, said Henry. Mudge wagged harder. Yum, yum was even better. Then Henry's mother said she wanted some sweet, fresh corn. Yum, 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 said Henry. Mudge wagged so hard that he knocked a chair over. Does this mean we're going to a farm? Henry asked his mother. I hope so, said Henry's dad. He picked up the chair. One more yum and Mudge may knock the whole house down. Wow, said Henry, we're going to a farm, Mudge. Henry could hardly wait. Welcome. Henry and Mudge and Henry's parents drove to the country. They passed fields and barns. They passed tractors and haystacks. And once they had to stop to let a duck and her children cross the road. Mudge wanted to get out of the car and kiss the ducks, but Henry wouldn't let him. No Mudge, Henry said, no kisses. Mudge kissed Henry instead. Soon Henry's mother said, there's the sign. The sign said, French's farm, two miles. Yay, said Henry. Henry's father drove up to the farmhouse. It was white and clean and flowery. Look at those big sunflowers, said Henry. Everything is bigger in the country, said Henry's mother. They all got out of the car. A woman wearing an apron came from the house. Welcome, she said. I'm Mrs. French. Mrs. French was nice. She told Henry he could walk all around the farm. She said that he could take Mudge. While they explored, Henry's parents would get eggs and blueberries and corn and all kinds of other good farm things. Let's go, Mudge, said Henry. Mudge wagged and off they went. The Chase. Henry and Mudge met a lot of farm animals. They met a goat that tried to eat Henry's shirt. They met chickens that pecked Mudge's head. He didn't feel the pecks. Mudge had a head like concrete. They met a shy cat and her kittens. They met a sheep. And then they met a goose. Uh-oh, said Henry. Honk, said the goose. Honk, honk, honk. Geese are very grumpy, Henry told Mudge. Honk. Honk, honk. The goose was not happy to see them. He honked and honked and honked. Mudge didn't like it. He tried to hide between Henry's legs. Yikes, said Henry, falling over. The goose honked Henry and Mudge all the way back to the farmhouse. They ran inside. Henry's parents were paying Mrs. French for the bag of eggs and berries and corn they were taking home. Henry's father looked at Henry and Mudge. He looked at the goose honking outside the window. 
Looks like you've been on a wild goose chase, he told Henry. Yes, but we weren't doing the chasing, said Henry. Mudge and the goose looked at each other through the window. Honk, said the goose. Mudge looked. Honk, said the goose. Mudge looked. Honk, said the goose. Bark, said Mudge. The goose jumped three feet in the air and went running wildly away. You're right, Mom, Henry said laughing. Everything is bigger in the country. Especially Mudge's bark. Mudge wagged proudly and Henry gave him a farm fresh kiss. The end. That concludes our reading of Henry and Mudge and the Wild Goose Chase by Cynthia Ryland. Thank you for watching Storytime with Burley. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, At Home with Burley. Thank you. Bye.